Man, this is live. Anything can happen. 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 And what if you fuck up? Man, this is live. Anything can happen. If we piss scared, I get a boner or fucking fart or something. Man, this is live. Anything can happen. Shut the fuck up, man. You're making me nervous. We're back, and we're live. What are we up to? 14 people right now. Let's see. Okay, we got Don Knotts in the room. Welcome to the Junkyard Crew. Welcome, everybody. Let me make sure I just Facebook and tweeted this out here. Check out the new video I did today. Uh, uh, we, of course, we did Pop Culture in the Morning. We did another, I see we, another new video. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What did I do today? Oh, the unreleased Kenner Game Toy from the movie The Car. Hadn't really done good. Really tainting views. Ugh. Y'all didn't really care about that, did y'all? Or some people. Uh, I always like to do unreleased toys. I always like to do unreleased stuff. So, um, so I, hold on just a second. Okay. I always like to do unreleased stuff, so I thought it'd be pretty good. So, what are we going to do on Wednesdays? Wednesdays, Monday, Star Wars. Tuesday's going to be, yes, they was different. Tuesday, I think, is going to be Toy Talk Tuesday, where we just talk toys, old and new, whatever we want to talk about. And Wednesday, right now, is going to be Indiana Jones Day, especially with the tw tw uh, 40th anniversary of Raiders of the Lost Ark. thought we had to talk about Indy, and who doesn't like to talk about Indiana Jones? Today, we're going to look at some Marvel comics, Dark Horse comics. Uh, probably need you guys' help, because I didn't really read the comics growing up, so we're just going to really look at the covers and talk about them. Uh, we got Chris in the room. We got Malcolm in the room. Ashley is here. Ashley is here. Ashley's always here, though. And it looks like she said she made it on time this time. Uh, who else do we have in the room? We have Sean, 21, Sheen, or Sean, uh, 21511. One. Oh, that's going to be tough to remember to say. Uh, I'm stalling here because I'm also looking to pull up my soundboard because I forgot. Actually, I was about to fall asleep and then I was like, oh shit, almost time. Uh, so we got Dave's in here. He's got a little Indiana Jones hat on his emoji. That's really good to see right there. Uh, tomorrow, 11 a.m., Pop Culture of the Morning. We're going to put a little Mad Magazine in your in your coffee to start your day. That's right, Mad Magazine. We're going to look at covers, mostly movie covers, but not all movie covers. We're going to look at Mad Magazines. Y'all probably like that. Again, Super Chats, make sure I see them. Helps out the channel. And... All that, but let's see. We got Jimmy here. Jimmy said, hello, hello, Jimmy. I just want the sequel to the car. After you mentioned it earlier, it was awful. Oh, that's, I, I knew, I've never seen the car. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it, and it's a badass looking car. Did you see in that video, I showed uh, Axel, Earl, whoever made that company was, that made it, uh, made a car around 2003. It looked awesome. I was like, man, I would love to have that car. Uh Tim Burr Vlogs says, hey, Junkman and everyone, hey, how do you? Uh, Ashley, Indy, Indy was named after the dog. Yes, he was. He's named after the dog. We named the dog, Indiana. That's right. Thank you right there, channel. I am popping. Uh, let's see here. Okay, great show early. Great show early today. Great show early today. Okay, so yeah, so check out, if you didn't check it out, check out the car. I didn't really have much information on it. Sadly, no prototypes or anything's been found. Just pictures of, of the car. <laughs> Crazy, you know, a horror movie like that. Uh, we're going to set it up, and it looked kind of fun to play, though. I might have to 
seems like something very interesting to play but what we're we gonna talk let's talk about a new shirt first let's pull this up here we got a new shirt right now at junkmanmerch.com and if you ordered it today it's only $13 look at that it's Java Kenner Java on his throne with salacious crumb and Biff Fatuna back there I like it not really much I was gonna add text under it and I was like no let's just leave it like that I kind of like it you know, for Jabba Hut fans right there. I know that one's probably it's not as good as a Bounty Hunter shirt. We got our first Super Chat over here. Hold on. Okay, there it is. Took a while to come up. Uh, Brian says, Fortune and Glory, kid. Fortune and Glory. I need that soundboard. Here's your random soundboard. Still can't hear that. Ah, I'm going to get this soundboard right one day, I swear. Here's your random. For the Super Chat, you get a random soundboard, and here you go. Yes, the guy that found Arrowhead. So we got uh, Tim's his awesome shirt. Mad Dino says, the car and the omen changed me forever. I have to check out the car. I've watched the trailer too, and I was like, okay, I might have to see, see it. Kind of like it still remind me of Death Proof. I think I mentioned that. Look at this shirt here. I think I mentioned that, but uh, again, I might miss some chats. Happy St. Patrick's Day from Chris. Yeah, I'm not wearing any green. Pinch me. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Oh my God, I get demonetized. Let's get rid of that shirt. Junkmanmerch.com. $13 for the next 24 hours. So if you want it, great time to get it. Great time to get it. I still get the same amount of commission uh, from the website. So they're losing money selling it at $13, but I still get the same amount. So you're still helping out the channel, but you're getting the deal. So that'd be really good. So what are we going to talk? We're going to look at Indiana Jones, Marvel, and Dark Horse. I'm not going to pull... I pulled up all the Marvel comics, but I didn't pull up all the Dark Horse stuff. Just the fate of Atlantis. Uh, they went a little overboard. Well, no, I'm going to say overboard with it, but they did do a lot. So let's check out Raiders real quick. We're going to look at the... Come on. Let's start with number one. Yeah, let's start with number one. I had it wrong. Okay, number one right there. There's Tote Tot, whatever his name is. Scoot over a little. Let's scoot over this way. Oh, let's scoot over this way. It's like a mirror. I can't remember. But here he is. Got his hand up here. Uh, this is issue one, which is, I don't think in this issue he does that. I think that's in issue two. I could be wrong. I haven't had read these in a long, long time. I don't have them. You know, I went back in the 90s, collected all the old Star Wars Marvel comics, and I wish now that I got the uh, the Indiana Jones comic series when I did. Uh, might be good to start trying to pick them up, but they were rare. I mean, I guess they're not rare. You know, they're probably on eBay and everything, but at comic shops, I don't remember seeing many of the Indiana Jones comics back in the day, or at least in the 90s when I was going back trying to collect uh, now, I didn't have any, a few of these I did have as a kid, but many of them I didn't. I really couldn't get into the Indies comics now. Of course, issue two right here has got him in uh, fighting the serpents, uh, serpents of doom. Says, hey, a little, you know, before there's Temple of Doom, serpents of doom. Who knows, maybe Spielberg or Lucas saw that title and say, hey, I like their name Doom. Let's go with that. Make it in the Temple of Doom or something. But that's number two, a Marvel movie special. That's from the movie... Uh, then we got issue number three. This one I did have. I remember having this one as a kid. That was odd. Ugh, that I would have this one as a kid, but I don't remember having the other one. Hey, maybe I was trying to win myself a 10-speed racing bicycle, maybe. No, 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 no. I, I don't. I probably was at a store. I probably. I don't. I don't think I ever went to a comic book store as a kid. Ain't that sad? I remember going to stores that sold comics, usually on a spinner rack, like a drugstore or something. Oh, man, but I don't remember actually going to a comic book store until I was in my teen years. As a kid, I don't remember, but uh, I don't think I ever went to one uh, as a kid. And then this one here is all... I had this one, too, and this was odd about this one. I pulled this up. I forgot I had this. I had this one, I know, as a kid. And I, I forgot all about it until I saw this picture, and I was like, Oh, yeah, I did have that. I got to quit looking over here. I got to look at the camera. But Raiders of the Lost Artists, when they took all the comics, put them in the one comic, you know, in case somebody didn't want to buy all three and you have that one. But that's a look at the Raiders of the Lost Art comics. Curious if any of you guys read them out there. I need to go back and try to collect them. I mean, there's only three issues. Believe it or not, I can't believe there's only three because that's what, uh, Marvel, Star Wars, they stretched out to six. I guess they couldn't stretch it out uh, too much there. There were a little changes, and if you read the comic, you remember Tote, Tot, whatever his name is, the guy in black with the burnt hand, he dies during the, uh, car chase. You know, when, uh, 
Andy knocked one of the cars off and it shows it go over a cliff. Tot is in that car. And even in the book, I remember I had the picture book. I, I think it's in the novel too, that he's in that car. So I'm guessing in the original script, it probably was changed somewhere during filming. That's where he died. He didn't burn up and melt at the end. He died. His car went over the side of the mountain. So how about, And you remember Dietrich, the bad guy Dietrich? How did I know his name? Because I can't remember. Tell me if I'm wrong. I don't remember him saying his name at all in the movie. I don't remember. I know. Did they even say Tots, Tots, Totes name? Now, see, I had an action figure of him, so maybe that's how I knew his name or knew how to spell it. I might be pronouncing it wrong. But Dietrich, I remember Dietrich. I remember always knowing his name, but I don't remember how I would have known his name. Of course, Belloc, one of the greatest villains of all time. That gets overlooked. When people talk villains, they always forget about Belloc as a movie villain. When people talk movie villains, I'm not sure why they always, always leave off Belloc, man. Okay, let's look at Temple of Doom now. Again, we'll go, uh, want to send a super chat. Send a super chat that would make sure I'll see it. If not, I'll try to jump in and catch some of these on the way. We got issue one. And I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever even seen the Temple of Doom comics um, until today. Until today. Um... But here is the first one here. It takes off. We've got his white suit on. Indiana Jones looks really good. So you got the first issue, uh, uh, number one in a three issue. They also did three of these. Temple of Doom. Uh, you got the second one here. He's getting choked out by... It doesn't really look anything like the guy that chokes him out in the movie. I guess this is right when he hooks him to the sun fan and kills him. It doesn't really look like him at all. Got a black-faced Spider-Man down in the corner. Uh, now again... I said it this day, I'll say it again. I love Temple of Doom. I love to I don't care. People are always ragging on Temple of Doom. I think it's better than Last Crusade. Kill me, but I think it's better than Last Crusade. Number three, interesting cover. I like this cover. Some of these would look really good on posters. I would love some poster size comic book art would look really good hanging on a wall. Uh we've got Mortar Rom, Kalimon, Kalimon, Kalimon. And then you got the one where I'll see this would look like a cool poster. This would be a cool poster to have. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, when they combine them all into one comic. What's the price of that? Two fifty. Try to do that today. They would uh, think you were crazy having a comic book at two fifty. Um, let's see here. Jedi says didn't know most of the names of the characters in Indiana Jones until Lego game. Yeah, I still don't remember how I remember Dietrich. I have a comic graphic novel of the young Indiana Jones. Yeah, I was gonna pull some of them up with the comics of them, but I didn't. Uh, Coconut Daddy. Coconut Daddy, I like that name. Coconut Daddy says, I had read the Lost Ark comic and started buying the Indiana Jones comics. And I like the Fate of Atlantis story. That was a good story. I remember that. That one I did read. Uh, as a kid, I always thought Tot, Tote, Toad, whatever his name was, was a Japanese agent. Why did you think it was a Japanese agent? Actually, I 100% agree with you. Temple of Doom is highly underrated. It is. Uh, Last Crusade is great, don't get me wrong, but it's a lot of the same old thing. Temple of Doom at least took it a little different route, changed it up. We didn't get the Nazis again. We didn't get the same villains. We didn't get the same everything. We took it up and did a whole different uh, venture. And now let's look at this. And I don't remember Last Crusade comics either growing up here. Now I was getting into comic books now. By this time I was going to comic book stores. Um, but I don't remember Last Crusade comic. I don't like this cover. If this isn't one, if I rank my top 10 favorite covers, this would not be on one of them for sure. It's got young Indiana Jones on it. Got old Indiana Jones in the back, reminiscing about his younger days, and a tiger or a lion, I should say. And we got issue two, Terra of Tomb. They always love that. They always put little names. Always good. Uh, comic books sure do look better. Comic book art back then. They just today they just don't have the thrill of them anymore. But that might be me again being back in my day. Oh, I hit the button. I didn't mean to. We got issue number three. Again, it's just a three-part issue. We got Andy and Henry tied up together um, in the chair, in the fire. And then, of course, oh, there's a four issue. I was wrong. Four. It was a four. This was a, I was wondering when I saw the cover that was at that scene. I said, that's a lot to cram in the one book. But we got the number four. This one took four issues. And there, of course, they're on. The, today, they would they would get up. People would get upset that they put the Nazi symbol on the tank. They would go, oh, cancel Marvel. Cancel Marvel. Oh, but there it is. He's beating a Nazi's ass. And I guess they didn't do one of all the movies into one comics like they usually do. But I guess not. So that's a look at the movie comics. I uh, didn't do. I don't. I couldn't. I didn't see any Crystal Skull comics. Hey, what's up with that? 
No Crystal Skull comic. Hmm. Now let's move on to the further, we're going to look at the further adventures of Indiana Jones. But until then, let's uh, head over to the chat and see if we missed anything. Chris says Temple of Doom was awesome. Yes, yes, that is true. We got Jedi. I didn't know most of the name. I read that one already. Uh, Joe says they have Brent Belvis handling art, which was a bizarre choice considering the style. Nobody else probably wanted to grind for that turnaround. Okay, I don't know who Brent Belvis is, but I think the art looks pretty good. Uh, so I'm not going to go against that. Some of the, I think the art looks really good. Uh, Chris says, uh, it's funny that Temple of Doom take, took place before Raiders. Yeah, uh, it's an odd choice that they made it take place before Raiders, but I guess they're thinking, you know, after he found the Ark, he was more established. This, this was more of a younger, new, naive indie in Temple of Doom, but it's weird that in Raiders, he's like, you know, he's, He's like power of God, and like he don't believe in the power of God and stuff. But this is a guy that just saw magic rocks a few years before, um, and that's one thing issue I had with the Marvel further adventures of Indiana Jones. I remember as a kid, I was like, he's having too many adventures, and you know, it seems like he needs an adventure every once in a while. But this was like every something crazy and bizarre happens to him every every week, and made him into a superhero or something. Okay, we got an, oh Happy St. Patrick's Day. We got a super chat from who? For Spoon, Spoony Love from up above gave us a uh, super chat. Happy St. Patty's Day, Junkman. Thank you so much. It means a lot again. Uh, the super chat should really help out. And that's some Spoony Love up above. And here's your random. Here is your, okay. <laughs> I was looking. I said it was random, but I was trying to do one I hadn't done before. See, I just did that one. Okay, now. You motherfuckers. Y'all just a bunch of losers. I'm the only one saying, son of a bitch here. <sighs> Get the fuck out of my house. Need your house. Okay. I said it once, I'll say it again. That one's too long. And it reminds me of when you're having dinner with your parents and your dad gets up and threw the skitty at the wall. We all remember those days. But we got another super chat from Ashley, the one and only Ashley's here every time. Way to go, Ashley. I want a green name too, and she has a green name, and she's not only has a green name, she's got a, you know what she's got, a random soundboard. I'm going to need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. That was pretty loud there. That was pretty loud one there. Oh shit, I almost hit the wrong button there. Uh, I'm going to give Ashley one more. Uh -oh. Sounds like somebody's oh got a case of the Mondays. Okay, I need one. I need that for my Star Wars Monday day. But what are we? We're gonna look at Marvel. But hold on, guys, real quick. This is part of where I, I take a little drink here uh, and sh show you a cartoon, so you don't have to see me drink something. I think I call it Spoony Love, Spoony Lee. Close enough, Spoony Lee, Spoony Love, Spoony Lee from up above. Okay, so let's check out the Marvel comics, and we'll check out some more chats. Um, again, super chats. Make sure I don't miss them. Really helps out the channel. And don't forget pop culture in the morning. Okay, um, the further adventures of Indiana Jones and. I, I remember reading some of these as a kid. Not many of them. I pick up one here and there. Picked up a little bit of them in the 90s. Not many of them. They were... I never could get into the story like I could the Star Wars Marvel ones. I never could bring myself to get it. Every time I read them, uh, most of them I found boring. I'm going to be honest with you. Most of them I found boring and they brought in superheroes and stuff. I mean, not superheroes, but uh, supernatural stuff. And I just I just, I just, just couldn't do it. But that's cover. It looks like he's wearing an eye patch. Andy, are you wearing an eye patch or is that a shadow? Let's pull that up. Let me see. Is Andy wearing an eye patch? Guess it's just a shadow. That guy, look at that guy behind him. Guy behind him is not don't have a face at all. How does he eat supper with no face? Uh, number two, right here. We got a lot to go through here. They only did 35 issues. Unlike so, unlike Star Wars. Here's Indy's being lowered into some kind of pit. It looks like the Temple of Doom pit. This is before Temple of Doom, though. And then we have Indiana Jones over here. What is this one here? Looks like he's outrunning some tanks. Uh, looks like he's outrunning some cannon. The further adventures. There's nothing written on that. I like when they have little words on there. Uh, we got here telling us this takes place after 
That's telling us it takes it features the man of Raiders Lost Ark. Like we couldn't figure that out. It's called the Further Further Adventures of Indiana Jones. We didn't need that little Raiders logo. We could figure that out. I like this cover. This is a pretty good cover, but still haven't seen anything really amazing when it comes to cover that would really grab me as a kid. But it does have the Marvel code. The comic book code of seal. When do they get rid of the Marvel? I'm sure somebody in the chat knows. When do they end that Marvel code? That might be good. Has anybody done a video on the Marvel? I'm uh, not Marvel. The uh, comic book code. A little symbol there. It's always interesting. A little story behind it. Uh, number five. And yeah, you see he's meeting some kind of demon thing. And it just seems like he's getting into superpowers or supernatural territory. Which is okay. Kind of like with Crystal Skull. Uh, walking the edge right there when it comes to Indy. Although, I guess you do get a little supernatural in all the movies there. Uh, number six, you got him leaping from a car like he's on some kind of... Like he's, is that a boat? It looks like one of those boats from Last Crusade, don't it? Maybe they... This is why they took a lot. Maybe Lucas and Spielberg and everybody took some uh, notes from uh, these comics. You know, uh, I was reading while I was looking up this that M. Night Shyamalan was going to write an Indiana Jones movie. Lucas and Spielberg met with him. Uh, he he came up with a plan. I think he wrote a script, actually. This is early 2000s. And he said that he could never get all three on board. That he never could get all three together. You know, he'd meet with Lucas. He'd meet with Ford. He'll meet with Spielberg. And it was hard to get all three to agree. And I think that's kind of what I've heard. Frank, da Frank, y'all know his name. Frank guy wrote a script, too. That's supposed to be really, really good. And I heard Lucas didn't like it. And Ford and Spielberg loved it. And I heard it was really hard getting them uh, all together. Lucas was really, really picky until he hired his man to do what he wanted him to do. Uh, let's see. What's next? Number seven. Further Adventures of Indiana Jones. I like the color of this one. This one really stands out. This one's really got a good, bright color. Uh, see, the other ones with the white font, the yellow's okay. But the other ones really look dull. This one really pops when it comes to comic book art i really like this cover here and it's got andy helping some lady look like she's about to get attacked by alligators now you might tell me that's crocodiles but i'm gonna say that's alligators and i see a snake i hope andy doesn't see it because he doesn't like snakes he doesn't like snakes one bit doesn't like them at all okay we're at number eight i have this one this is one of the few ones i do have that i bought in the 90s uh, pretty interesting cover. Again, it's telling us is this the hero from Raiders? Like, we can't figure that out. Come on, we know who that is. Got a big skull in the background. Who's the girl? That's not Marion, is it? I don't think it's not the same girl on each con, is it? Is it Marion? Do anyone remember if that's Marion? Because it's on the same cover on each one. I don't think so. I couldn't remember Marion Million. I could be wrong, though. Um, uh, another cover I don't really like. Is that even Indy? Is that, that's not even Indy, is it? Let's pull this up. Pull this up big. If that's Indy, that's a horrible looking. Now I don't even think that's Indy. How can you do an Indiana Jones cover and not even have Indiana Jones on the cover? I guess you got him up there in the corner, but that doesn't count. Yeah. I mean, that would be an exciting cover if that was Indy because you're like, oh my God, he's getting stabbed by an Indian on, in New York City and he's falling off a building. Oh my God. Do I mean to see Indian? I'm going to get canceled. Okay. Then we got Indy right here fighting on the wing of a plane. Um, yeah, I don't really like this Indy either. He's too. Doesn't look like Harrison Ford much. Look at that. I mean, it's okay. It looks more like the any drawings they did before the movie. You know, uh, I forget who did the art, like on the board game, some of the concept art. It looks more like that concept art indie. And we got another one here, Indy again falling. He seems like he's falling a lot in this. We got issue twelve, and he's fighting a a, a bull. And he's a bullfighter in this one. Let's check over the chat again. Super Chats, make sure I don't miss them. But we'll see. We see Raw Solo said, my mom let me get a whip. I got a whip too. I remember I bought it at a yard sale. Um, my brother actually had a bull whip when we, from Tijuana, Mexico. We went down there one time. We were a little. I was little. And he snuck it across the border. I didn't get one. But I had a whip. It was good enough. I used to walk around all the time with it. I had my Indiana Jones hat. had my Hawaiian shirt. I would wear them together. And I would wear my whip in the woods. And I would... Go into the woods and try to swing, but you never could get the hook on a limb to swing across. And if you did, you couldn't get it unhooked. Um, but we did have vines in the woods, so that was fun to swing on. And then this one here I do, this is the one I actually have. Further Adventures, number 13. He's getting pulled by an airplane. Pretty interesting cover. Let's see what this warning says. What does this warning say? Be warned. 
is an assistant editor's month. What the hell does that mean? Who gives a shit if it's the what? Who care if it's assistant? I don't. What are they? Assistant editor or uh, edit the book or something? I don't know. That was weird. This one is one I actually do have in my collection too. For the, for the Revengers of India. Don't like this cover. It's kind of dull looking. It looks like Mortarom in the back, but no, it's not. Okay, we got number 15 here. More indie boxes falling on top of indie. Pretty, I like this. I like the bright covers the best. Uh, number 16. I can't even tell. That's a boat. Yeah, it looks like a boat. It looks like a submarine and stuff. Not the red is all the adventures of Indiana Jones. The further adventure of Indiana Jones, all red. Don't like that font at all. Uh, interesting. I like the yellow in the background on this one, but the text doesn't really stand out. He's riding a horse, and that's good. And there's that girl back to which I'm not sure is Marion, but it might be. A raw solo has sent a super chat. Said, How many hats did Indy have? He probably had a whole damn lot of them. But I guess in real life, it wasn't the movie, Canon. He probably had one, but he probably needed a whole bunch of them. Here's your random. The sportos, the motorheads, geeks, sluts, bloods, waste toys, dweebies, dickheads. They all adore Jordan. him. They think, think he's a righteous, righteous dude. dude. Okay, what are we up to now? Thank you so much for the super chat. Raw Solo is always right here. We got Robert, we got Brian, we got Kent. Kenna. K-I-N-A. I'm sorry, I might be saying that wrong. We got Jedi. We got Kelvin. We got Raw Solo. I said that. We got Jimmy. Jimmy Campbell Soup. Campbell. Jimmy Campbell Soup's here. He's probably heard that before. Okay, we got another number, number issue number 16. They're on some kind of rope bridge. Again, this is before Temple of Doom, and he's on a rope bridge. I'm, again, to 100% believe that Spielberg or Lucas was checking this stuff out here. I mean, we got the boat from Last Crusade early on. We got a rope bridge now. Man, no telling what else we're going to have. Number 19, he's like he's he's got a dragon by the tail. Dragon? What? A dragon? I see the shadow of the dragon. He's being pulled by a dragon. This is when you're going too far with Indiana Jones. And we got another one here. Now, this one reminds me of Last Crusade. Call me crazy. But remember, I know it's different than Last Crusade. You got the, the biplane shooting at him and everything. The biplane, I guess, you know, it goes both ways. He likes helicopters and airplanes. But I got Indy running from him. It does remind me somewhat. Now, looking at it, it looks more like that Alfred Hitchcock movie. That's what it reminds me of. Uh, you guys in the chat probably know what I'm talking about. I uh, can't think of the, drawing a blank on it. Alfred Hitchcock movie, very famous scene running from the air, airplane. That kind of reminds me of that scene. I bet that's what they're going for there. Number 21, Indiana Jones getting attacked by hulks. Yeah, he's probably going to need himself a good bird lawyer. He's going to have to call Charlie Day. Charlie Day is an excellent bird lawyer. If you need a bird lawyer, Google Charlie Day. He'll be able to help you out. Probably one of the best bird lawyers I've ever seen. Okay, we got number. Now he's gonna fight a bear. Oh man, he went from fighting fighting a dragon to fighting a a black panther. No, a, a bull. We saw him fight a bull. We saw him fight what? Hawks, and now he's fighting a bear. Man, there's no stopping this Indiana Jones character. I got Andy now. It looks like he's falling off a river. He got the Mad Hatter down there shooting at him. All kinds of adventure with Indiana Jones there. Number 24. We got another cover. Nothing really exciting here. Oh, it's got... Oh, hey, put some text up by the writing this time. What lurks within the tomb? Oh, what do you think is in the tomb? Let's find out what is in the tomb. Okay, and we got a more colorful one. We got Indy back on a train. Last Crusade, right? Lucas Spielberg, you guys were reading these comics. Come on. Kind of like the young Indiana Jones on the train. Coincidence? Maybe. Okay, got him right now, Indiana Jones. He looks like he's being pulled by horses now. Man, I feel sorry for Indy. He's always getting his ass whipped. His hat's off in this one, which is unique scene. Let's see him without his hat on. Look at him. That is a crazy looking picture. And got this guy back here going crazy on them horses. Oof. Oh, fan. Let's size this back down, guys, here. Okay, size it back down. Size it back up. Okay, let's go now. Uh, number 27, got a bunch of blue guns in Indy's face while he's busting through a window. That's pretty cool. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Did I say it? I said it. I said it. Um, Got Indy here helping another young lady out. Don't really know who she is. 
Got this is another one I have in my collection. I have more than I thought I did. Number 29 is India's the grave robber. He's like he's gonna rob some graves. Maybe he's gonna dig up Fido because he he, he has a strong box key uh, in his belly. Got I like the yellow font. I really like yellow font on some of these right here. Got Indy. He's checking out this guy to see if he's alive or dead. Don't know the story behind it, but he's doing a power play. A power play for Indiana Jones. Number 31, he's fighting a redhead. And I think I said earlier during the early day show, redheads are always being bullied. This time, the redhead's doing the bully. And what's the famous saying? Said it before, I'll say it again. Heard it all the time growing up. I'd rather be red than dead on the head. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying what I've heard. Not all redheads are bad. I mean, Rusty Miller, smart, great Star Wars fan right there. And I'm sure there's some redheads heads in the chat. So don't take it personally. Number 32, and he's hanging on the... What is he hanging on there? I guess part of an airplane. He's hanging on. His hat's flying off. And he's up in the air. He's going to lose that hat forever. And another one I have in my collection. Uh, this one's got like a Superman-like hero on it. Like, a, well, I don't know if he's a hero. Maybe he's a villain. And he's got skeletons all coming alive. That's just what I call crazy. Number 34. We got Andy. Looks like he's in some kind of mine shaft or something. And the last one, oh, that was the 34. I thought it was the 35. There's only 34 issues. 34 issues, that's a look at the Marvel, the Marvel Further Adventures of Indiana Jones. But don't worry, we got some more to talk about in just a second. But we got a super chat from Chris. Chris is always helping the channel out. He's going to get himself a random soundboard. Let's see, let's give him uh, this one right here. Boy, that set back, back. Yeah, we'll give him that. Extra. Yeah, we'll give him an extra. We'll give him an extra. So let's check over the chat a little bit, see if I missed anything. Again, Super Chats to make sure I don't miss them. Oh, we got Josh. Oh, man, Josh Hartman. Thank you. Star Wars Tales number 19. Star Wars Indiana Jones crossover comic. Hmm, I have to check that out. That sounds like a really good issue. Number 19, Star Wars Tales. Man, Harrison Ford, does Han and Indy meet each other? Let's give him a, uh, so let's give him a random Super Chat also. fact we're going to give him an extra one too just for the hell of it that one's probably hard to hear right there that one's probably hard to hear in fact i know it is hey, jumpman's channel popping yes jumpman's channel is popping dough so let's check it again thanks for the super chat really means a lot really helps the channel helps me out uh so let's see if we missed anything over here raw dog said everyone smoked back then yeah they did everybody smoked especially back in the 30s when that happened uh number 14 the issue issue number 14 was a good issue that's good i might have to go back and start getting some of these um he kept losing his hat on all these covers yeah he did kept losing his hat and that's another thing you know in all the movies he reaches back to grab something he didn't in the kingdom of the crystal skull what's up it's like these people see star wars uh Kendall west i want to help you ready to pay a thousand dollars to two thousand yeah right <laughs> Look at, oh, okay, maybe I read it wrong. Kenda, Kenda Willis, did I say that right? Looking for a suspicious, suspic, sus, I can't, oh, can't talk to that. Kenner toy line called Savage Mando Blasters. I think I remember that. Is you're looking to, what you're looking for? More information on them? I'm looking to buy, I think I remember those. It sounds very familiar. I don't remember I'm at the store, but I think I remember look, uh, finding out about them when I was looking up some other videos. Oh, man. Uh, Indiana Jones Wednesday, Whip Wednesday, Whip Wednesday. I like that. I might have to, yeah, yeah. Get your Whip out Wednesday. That might be a good one. We got Raw says he's still picking. That they just don't care. Yes, they are. We got Marion. Yes, that's Marion. Okay, it was Marion on the cover. Thanks. Uh, everyone at Marvel got an eye patch at one time or another. They like to give them eye patches. I guess Spoonie Lee from up above said that Ashley sent a bottle of wine. Way to go, Ashley. Have some wine. Watching the Junk Man. Uh, Jedi. So let's skip over here to Dark Horse in the 90s. Of course, uh, Dark Horse was on fire picking up comic books and everything, and they picked up the rights to Indiana Jones. Now, they ran around with it. They did a young Indiana Jones series. They kept doing Indiana Jones after Indiana Jones. But I, we're just going to look at the fate of Atlantis right now. But I'll be right back, guys. <sighs> Oh, 
Okay, guys. Sorry, I just had to get my voice. Had to wet my whistle, as the young people say. Uh, okay, let's see here. Let's go to... Where is it? Okay, let's pull it up. There we go. Now, I bought these when they first came out. This came out the same time around. The Dark Empire did. Dark Horse was on fire. Indiana Jones was back. Star Wars was back. Well, I guess Indy was just back in the comic book form. Wasn't no sign of a new movie coming out or anything like Star Wars. But I was very excited. I mean, I was really getting into comic books. I mean, I was buying Robin 2. Anybody, anybody buy that? Like, Robin had his own series. Buying that. Terminator had a good comic book line. The Enemy Within. Very good comic book right there. Enemy Within. I was really getting into comic books. Uh, you know, I was probably just out of high school. I was having some money. And I didn't have, you know, any bills. So I was getting into comics. It was a really good time. It was a real magical time in the early 90s where people were getting into comics. Action figure craze was starting up. It's odd that how everything started right around that same time. It was like just a boom in comics, a boom in action figures and everything. So we got number two, uh, number two here, Fate of Atlantis, number two. Um, this one cover, I, I like the other cover. I like this cover a lot better. This one sums up, looks, has a great Indiana Jones look, make a good poster. This one, I'm not really that thrilled with, but it makes you interesting. It's like, hey, why is he playing with fire? Don't he know if you play with fire, you pee in the bed? Everyone knows if you play with fire, you pee in the bed. But guess, Indy don't care. Indy breaks all the rules. Number three, I like this cover too. This is a good looking cover right here. It's got some Nazis, I guess, coming a little. They're tripping over each other to get down there. Got Indy. It looks like something you would see from the movie. It looks like some uh, concept art from the movie. Sketch art, uh, storyboard art or something. It looks really good. And with number four, I remember this one too. This is what I really enjoyed. This is probably one of the best covers, at least from the Fate of Atlantis or from the Dark Horse issues. I really, really enjoyed this cover too. It really looks good. This is another one that would make an excellent poster and that's it i don't know if number oh this is where they took them all into one i forgot about this one trade paperback i guess you would call it. this is when they turn them all into one issue in case you don't want to buy each one i think we're done we're done looking at all the comics like i said i didn't pull up much of the dark horse stuff i wasn't sure how many you know i just really wanted to look at those marvel ones and everything so we're going to catch up some more chat talk indy a little bit more but uh, again uh this time i got to check something so i'll be right back Okay, are you guys sick of seeing that cartoon yet? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, again, check out the latest video today. I don't know why the last two videos I've done have kind of tanked in views. I was like, am I doing too much on the channel now or something? But we got, uh, well, they were, I, they were kind of odd subjects, so I knew. We got the car, the Kenner game from the movie The Car. I knew that would probably wouldn't do that well. I mean, it's probably an obscure movie. People probably, you know, wasn't that excited about it. And then, yeah, hush. Trying to talk to these people. And uh, yesterday I did one of, oh, the failed movie. The failed movie action figure line videos always have a slow takeoff. So that maybe that's why. But we'll see. Maybe we'll have something that's going to explode. I had something last month that got to like 300,000 views. I need another one like that. Really helped out. I got a lot of subscribers for that one. Uh, let's see here. So let's check out with the chats again. Then we'll talk some more. Andy, I'm curious what you guys think about the comic books, the Dark Horse or the Marvel ones. If you read them, uh, Time Portal Toys said never visit the zoo with Andy. Never go to the zoo with Andy. Some mishaps gonna happen there. Um, Calvin says, do you think Andy smoked? There's art where he's got a cigarette. I'm sure. You know, and I didn't in the movies or anything, but. As much as he ran around and jumped around, he probably didn't. But back then, doctors were handing out cigarettes like it was vitamins. So, uh, Wasn't Fate of Atlantis a PC game also? Yes, it was. It was a PC game also. I don't remember playing it, but it was a game. Uh, only games I remember playing was the uh, Nintendo. We had a Super Nintendo game. Uh, there was like all three movies in one game. That was fun. And then uh, Lego Star Wars. I played it. Uh, Star Wars. Lego Indiana Jones. I played it. Uh, my son had another Lego game, uh, Lego, another Indiana Jones game. It wasn't Fate of Atlantis, I don't think. Uh, forget which one it was. It was pretty, it was pretty fun, though. I didn't play it much. I wasn't good at it. It was, looked like it was fun. I watched him play it. Sonic says, Junk, you have so many streams, I can no longer watch them all. 
beware of burnout. Yeah, the streams, focus on, if you're not watching the streams live, focus more on the, uh, on the video throughout the day. The live streams are more just fun to interact with and everything, but they're an hour long. They'll take longer to watch. I'm not sure how good they'll be on replay. So <laughs> I'm more worried about you guys getting burned out than me getting burned out. Cause, uh, so those videos in the middle of the day where it's a topic, you know, the normal videos, you might want them. I thought about putting the live on a different channel, but I don't, I have another channel, but it doesn't have enough to put ads on it yet. Ugh. So I don't know. But yeah, I understand what you're saying. I don't want to get burned out either. But really, right now, since work told me not to come back, not only has this been helping me cry to go full-time, it's made me also not go crazy sitting around the house because it makes me look forward to it. You know, gives me something to do. Although it's only been two days. I love the Lego Indiana Jones game. It was fun. I like the Star Wars ones better, but I still like the Lego Star Wars one. I mean, Lego Indie ones. I just watched the Young Indiana Jones Adventures. Pretty good. All of the episodes when he's younger aren't so good. I haven't. I remember I couldn't get onto them. You know when they were new. I need to go back. I never really went back and watched them. They seemed like they were long and drawn, drawn out and boring. At least to a kid around you know 16 or 17. Harrison Ford was on Young Indiana Jones one time. He was. He went back and told a story of some early adventures. Something mystery blues or something was the name of it. Interesting to check out. He's got a beard and instead of the scruffy look. He's got the be the whole full beard. I've heard that he had that beard because he was filming The Fugitive at the time and needed to keep the beard, which is odd. The Fugitive, he grows, he cuts his beard to go into hiding. You think in real life he would grow a beard? Because you know si surgeons have a beard. I guess surgeons have a beard. Okay, I guess I'm overanalyzing things here, but you gotta have Indy with the clear face so and put him on a poster. It's like that's Indy. Uh, let's check out some more. See if I missed any more here. North by Northwest was the cover I was thinking of. The Hitchcock. Thank you. Who said that? Spoonie Lee from up above. Kevin Malam. Kevin Malam. Maley. I am horrible at names. Sorry, guys. Oh, he's hated in school. They're like, here, pass out these papers. Read these names. I was like, I cannot read this. And you know, my son has no Jennifer, no Amy's in his class. What's going on? What? When I was in like the fifth grade, there was at least four Jennies. Three Amy's. He said they don't have no Amy's. They ain't got no. I'm sure they got some hip, trendy names though. Uh, what happened at work, junk man? Eh, what else? Pandemic sales are down, so they start looking to blame people. You know how that goes. But maybe it hadn't hit me yet, or I hadn't really cared. But I was like, fuck it. My chance to try to do more with the channel and try to push more out there to go full time. See. You never know. I mean, and I like doing the live streams. The live streams are fun. Again, if it's too much for you guys, let me know. Because it's 7, 11 a.m., 7 p.m., and then a, a video in between. But just make sure if you can't watch the live streams, they're an hour long. So you might want to, they're a little harder to go back and watch, I understand. So at least if you're going to watch a video, if you only get time to watch one a day, check out the one that's in the middle there. The normal the normal video, I call it. What happened? Uh, Mike said, what's up, junk man? Just hanging out, having having fun. Jedi said, everyone was named Ch Chambers at the at one school in the Yoda video. They were, and that's my last name, and there's two others, and we're what and related. <laughs> good, good eye there. There was Billy, there was Jenny. I think they were related, but I wasn't related to any of them. They were, they were hillbillies lived on a farm. Hillbillies lived on a farm. Well, don't do that. Don't do that. But I tell you what, any of Jones game I loved, and a lot of people don't. They give it a bad rip. Uh, Raiders Lost Ark for Atari 2600. Say what you will about 2600 games. I love that game. And once you figure it out, once you know what to do, once you kind of know where, where to go, what to collect, how to get the map room to work and everything, it is a fun game. I did a video probably about two years ago where I played it and solved it, but I need to play it again. What I was going to do is try to find somebody younger, in their 20s maybe, do a video with them playing it with no instructions, nothing, just here. Here's the Raiders game. See if you can figure it out and see how long before they get mad and throw it at the wall. Brian says, I love the smell of those vintage books. Hmm, a vintage book? Yeah. How about an action figure? I remember in the 90s, I would open those bubbles up, smell that plastic. Loved it. Loved it. Old books always have a good smell too, you're right. Comic books, good good smell. 
Uh, Jeff said, I like the teen indie episodes of Young Indiana Jones. The, uh, the eight-year-old ones, not so much. Someone else just said that also, I think. I don't know if you, unless you said it twice, but like I said, I don't remember that show too much. I remember at the time feeling they were a little boring, but that was probably just because of my age at the time. But uh, here we are. We had number. Okay, but we looked at... Uh, so what did you guys think? Any guys all read the comics? Let me know what you thought. The Marvel comics, anyway. Uh, good morning from Australia, says ED5. Jumpman, happy St. Patrick's. I didn't even realize it was St. Patrick's Day till like an hour ago. I heard somebody else say it. Um, my son got his learner's license or learner's permit, whatever you call it, wherever you at today. Uh, so that's, I was like, man, growing up. Growing up, so now I gotta start letting him drive. That's scary here. Do you like the Alan Corn main movies? <laughs> they're fun. I only seen the first one. King Solomon's on mine. They're they're fun in a cheesy way. I know I knew someone that said they were better than Indiana Jones. I was like, get out of here. Uh, Lucas Spielberg wrote Marion to be twelve when she was getting abused by Indy. And now I was a child, he says. You knew it was wrong. Yeah, I don't think I think she, I did a whole video on that breaking down the time of the age, and I think it was more around fourteen or fifteen. Not saying it's right either way but it is a little different there um you know back then i think people got married when it was like 13 or 14 not saying it's right or wrong it was a different time in the 30s but uh it's still kind of odd if they went back and did some kind of young story or told the story of how they met you know they would have to change that that's creepy but yeah she even said she was a child in these and it's crazy uh, Angry Video Nerd did Indiana Jones game video. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I love. I used to love watching the Angry Video Nerd. Not so much lately. I don't know if I got burned out watching his video. I like watching his videos, but his Angry Nerd character. I don't know. Is it just me? It's just like the new ones. I just maybe because I don't know the games. It seemed like the older ones when he was starting out. I knew most of the games, and then it became where I was just like, I don't really know this game, and then I just can't get into it. But maybe I've seen too many of them, or I'm getting too old. But I like the guy. The guy seems really cool and everything. Not nothing against him, and I, I watch his other videos. Uh, Josh sent in a super chat. Thank you so much, Josh. That's another super chat. You're killing me here. Will you be doing more giveaways in the near future? You got some time. I want oh, some items. I want. Uh, I might. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But usually, right now, the giveaway is going to be at milestones. You know, thirty thousand. 40,000, something like that. Let's give you a random super chat. I mean, it's a random super chat. Yeah, a random soundboard. Sorry, give you another one right here. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Uh, did you watch the movie UHF Weird Al? Did the Indiana Jones spoof? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I watched that. Uh, back on HBO, back in the 80s, used to watch that all the time. Kramer on it and... See if I missed any more. Oh, uh, did, did I see these super chats? Chris said, "Damn, I got to get those comics." Did I read that one? And Star Wars Tales number nineteen. I did read that one. Okay, man. I just want to make sure I didn't miss any super chats there. Uh, my mom was married at fifteen. Raw, raw. Uh, I'm gonna tell this, and it sounds. Oh God, never mind, never mind. <laughs> I'll save that for another time. <laughs> Because uh, at the time I didn't think nothing about it, but now uh, I'm, I, I'll, I don't want to get canceled, so we won't go there. I'll, I'll say that for another story. Uh, Matthew Jumpman, how's your son doing with his surgery? He's doing about about normal. He's going to start school back in a couple of weeks. I think they got spring break next week, and then he's going to go back. Uh, Renee Renee Patrick said he read the Marvel ones. Uh, well, how was it? Did you enjoy them? I'm just curious of how they are because I only read a few of them here and there. Found the three issue miniseries of Raiders. And Temple of Doom, super special at my local store last year. That's that's nice. That's I almost said it. I almost said it. It is pretty cool. Thank you, Miley. Spill it, junkie. No, I'm not gonna spill it. I'm not gonna spill it. I don't want to get canceled. It's nothing that bad. It's nothing that bad. But I was gonna say something, but we'll keep that between us. Uh, ten, time portal toys. I always wanted a whip when I was a kid. Funny enough, my folks wouldn't let me have one. Yeah, I had a whip. I guess my—I mean, I had a whip, and then I remember when Temple Doom came out, I used to walk around the neighborhood with a machete. Who lets their kid walk around with a damn machete up and down the neighborhood? My parents never said nothing. It was just a different time. I think it was the '80s. Now you see—you look out your window now, you see a kid wearing an Indiana Jones-style hat, a fedora, wearing a Hawaiian shirt, 
walking up and down the street wearing, I mean, carrying a whip in one hand and the other hand he's got a machete, you would call the police. The weed in your garden. Hey, Juck, man. If you need personal references for a new job, we got you. I'll remember that right there. Hopefully, I can make this go full time and I won't have to. That would be awesome. But I tell you, it might sound crazy, but I put more work into this channel than I ever did at any job. So, it's not like, hey, he's got it easy, man. Trust me, it's a lot goes on behind the scenes and on the cameras. So There's a lot. I might spend a lot more time doing this than I do anything else here. ED5, I got flat. I got flogger with a handle of my whip. I got a flogger with the handle. Of, what the hell is a flog? I got flogging. I don't know. I missed that one. It's probably me reading it wrong. Uh, Renee said, yeah, I enjoy the Marvel comics. Uh, Jumpman, you should put... In his resume, they has a complete Vintage Star Wars collection. That's right. Who wouldn't hire that? Hey, Vintage Star Wars collection. Right there. Where we are? We've got about 10 more minutes left of the show. <laughs> Why do I always do this? Okay, quit bragging there. I need to get uh, Alien Todd. We need to get Larry the Wampa back in here. We need to get some Flog. Oh, Flog is a sexy whip. I know what you're talking about now. No. Sorry, I'm not a pervert. I know what he's talking about. Now, now I got to go. Uh, don't have to worry about the van guys when you when you're a kid. Yeah, walk around with shit. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody stopping you on the side of the road to try to touch a booty hole. That's for sure. Hey, jump in if you need a. Oh, I read that one already. Again, super chat. Make sure I get them. Ed five a being that means junk man. Okay, because in the eighties, kids had imaginations. They did. Uh, we could, and parents didn't freak out and. At like if you walk to a mailbox, you're gonna get kidnapped here. Uh can't have any fun. Hey machete, my my parents let me carry a Luger. Yeah, oh, now that's a parent right there. Devo said uh Robert Long said Devo whip it, whip it, whip it good. I remember telling somebody one time that that was from Raiders, that that was like a theme song from Indiana Jones, and they believed me. I think I was like in the fifth or sixth grade, probably you know. And I was like, you know that song Whip It is in Raiders. That's where it came from. That's like his theme song. And they were like, oh, really? They couldn't believe it. I love the movie. I, even Crystal Skull comics. Did they do Crystal Skull comics from Dark Horse? I couldn't find anything on there about them. I would have pulled them up. Um, hold on just a second. Dark Horse comics. Crystal, because I look for Crystal Skull, but maybe I just looked at the wrong place here. Yeah, apparently they did do one. Let's go back and see here. Okay, they did do. I don't know. I didn't pull them up. So my bad. I didn't pull them up. Dark Horse did it. Yep, Lucasfilm books. Lucas books. Okay, I was wrong. Thanks for telling me that. Uh, the website I had didn't have that listed. I should have just Googled it. Master of the Universe Beastman was pretty cool. And he came with a whip. He sure did. Anything came with a whip was pretty cool. That's right. It was pretty cool. Hey, Jumpman Channel popping, though. Yes, Jumpman Channel is popping. Have any crazy kid stories? Well, I do videos sometimes about crazy kid stories. I don't know about crazy. What do you mean by crazy? What is a crazy kid story? I'm not really sure. Uh, is that Miss Pac-Man art? Well, yes, it is. I did a live stream Friday night. Me putting it together. I'll put that on private because it's not really worth watching. But you could have watched it when it was live. But that's it. I got high score on it today. Beat my high school high score from Saturday. Excited right there. Okay, hey Junk Man says Roger Gray. Um, yes, Miss Pac-Man is my favorite game or favorite arcade game. I don't know. I mean, I like Tron, but Miss Pac-Man I was good at it. That's why I liked it so much. Uh, but I'm still, man, I'm still trying to, still pretty good. Now, I wasn't like expert, you know, I wasn't like, uh, you know, those people you see on King of Kong. But uh, for a neighborhood kid, I was, I was really, I was really damn good at it. Yeah, I know that, dude. Um, ain't all kids crazy? Yeah, all kids are crazy. Crazy was normal in the 80s. Crazy was fun. Fun to be crazy. I've always been crazy. Um... Josh, okay, I read that. Josh, I read that one from you, didn't I? Yeah, about the giveaways. Don't worry, don't worry. Time Portal says, I was a kid once. Mm. As a kid, I once sewed the legs off my granny's coffee table to make some nunchucks. That was, he said, what did he say that was? 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. Man, that's that would get you beat right there. We did have I did have some new trucks. I bought them from my Army Surplus store. And throw in stars. Kids have throw in stars today. Uh, fifth grade, my friend and I had a BB gun war in the woods. I got shot in the thigh and went home. <laughs> yeah, I remember my brother and his friends, and we would all have BB guns in the war. I remember one time, uh, my brother's my brother's friend's brother brother was there, and he got hit by a ricochet, and he went home. He was like, "Okay, let's." He was all, "Okay, I'm gonna play BB war with y'all." And he went in the woods. It bounced off what we called the Green Bear Bridge, hit him in the back of the leg, and he went home. And I guess that was enough for him. Jedi said, I knew a kid whose first Indiana Jones film was Kingdom of the Crystal Skull when he saw it in theaters. Well, you know, that's a good way to introduce him. Maybe go on and get better from there, right? Uh, I wish my, my son really got into Indiana Jones a lot when he was little. I wish he was, you know, alive when, uh, or I think he won my, he, if he was alive, then he was really little. But he really got into Indiana Jones. And I remember showing it, showing him Raiders. I don't want to watch that. He's probably about seven or eight. You know how kids are. And that opening scene, going into the cave, he was just like, he loved it. He watched Raiders every single day, I think. And then he watched Temple. The three main ones, he would watch them over. Even Crystal Skull, he watched them over and over and over and over again. Oh, I just, he was really, really into it. More than he ever got into like something like Star Wars. The only movie that he watched from my childhood that he got into that much was Planet of the Apes. I figured he was about eight. I said, he ain't going to like this. We'll just put it on. He watched Planet of the Apes, I bet, three times a day for two months. He loved Planet of the Apes. It is a good movie. I'm talking about the original. It is a good movie. Hopefully it acts like a gateway drug, okay? The G.I. Joe figure Croc Master also came with a bull whip. Maybe I should do a video of figures that came with whips. Uh, okay, I don't think I've... Of course, I missed some of them. Super Chats, just make sure I don't miss them, but I'll try to catch up some here and there. Today's kids make it in... Today's kids couldn't make it into the 80s. No, they couldn't. No, they couldn't. They needed mommy to hold their hands and their daddies to wipe their butts. Fry crackers and ball bearings and pipes made a work toy musket. Man, that's crazy there. That's crazy. Indiana Jones and the Planet of the Apes would be a great... That'd be a good one. Indiana Jones and the Planet of the Apes. Oh, that'd be crazy. Uh, I got Miss Pac-Man. Counter K. Is that the counter? Oh, the counter one. I know you. Okay. That's a pretty cool one. Uh-oh, I said it. Sorry. Um... I wanted the tabletop one. There's like the uh, cocktail table, I think they call it. That's the one I really wanted, like a real one of that I always wanted. And remember the Star Wars Tales issue where Indy found the Millennium Falcon. Someone was talking about that earlier. I don't remember that. I think they said issue number 19. So check that out. Issue number 19 of Star Wars Tales. Interesting here. We got a few more here. Bottle rocket. Oh, man, I remember... I don't know if it was a Roman candle or a bucket rider. My brother shot it, went into the neighbor's yard, and his mom got all mad. There wasn't even no kids out there. And she's like, yeah, I could have had my kid out there. And I was like, well, get over it. But, yeah, we had fun. We didn't stay. Sure, we played Nintendo as a kid in the 80s. Sure, we played Atari. Sure, we played inside. But, man, we would go out, ride back. So I had a dirt trail up by my house where we jump hills and everything. Kids today, do they even go outside? They think that's punishment to go outside now. Saturday, you couldn't wait. Saturday, get up, get your cereal, get your cartoons out of the way. Then you go outside, leave. No cell phone. You'd be gone all day till like 6 or 7 o'clock at night. Nobody getting in touch with you. Nobody knew where you were. You were either at a friend's house. You were in the woods. You were at the track. You were behind the church smoking a cigarette. You were doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And nobody knew. Nobody cared. What a great time. I, I tell you, man, what a great time to be alive. Grow up in the 80s. 70s, 80s, had the best movies. I mean, I don't want to sound like that old guy to say, hey, back in my day. But really, when it comes to this pop culture type stuff, you got to admit, growing up in the 80s was the best time. I mean, look at all the movies that people love today. It was right there where we grew up. We got to see Star Wars when it was new. And then we got a little older. We got to experience new Star Wars, the prequels with our kids. Or even as an adult. So even if you didn't have any kids. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, let's see. Uh, Raw 85. Uh, Brian, Joe, Ashley. I didn't see Candace Cherry wasn't here today. Joshua, Roger, 
Johnny, Alex, Can Do Entertainment. All you guys, I want to thank you so much. What we're at today, 66 people. Guys, we are on a roll. Yesterday, we had a little special because of the giveaway. I'm sure we broke 100, which was the first time for us on a live stream. But that's pretty cool. Tomorrow, 11 a, 11 a.m., pop culture in the morning. We're going to put a little magazine, a Mad Magazine in your coffee. Get your day started. Look at some Mad Magazine's cover. It's going to be a lot of fun there. Um, and hit the like button. You're right, Chris. Hit that like button. Have a good night. Don't forget, check out the video about the car toy. Not released by Kenner. Almost released. The car. The horror movie that almost got released. Check it out. Check out the streams. Check out everything. I want to thank you guys again for the super chats, for hanging out with me, supporting the channel, getting me to 20,000 subs. Share the videos. Tell your friends. Tell them all about the junk man. And we'll be back again. I hit the button too soon. I hit the button too soon. But tell them we'll... Tell them all about the Jumpman videos. We'll be back later. Whew, my mouth is dry.